I'm Neely Jones, host of Focus on Suppliers. This week, we're going to look at watches and jewelry and the latest trends in that category. Plus, sustainability. It's a key facet for most businesses today, and that's why we're giving you a sampler on sustainability today to whet your appetites for the entire show on the subject in a month. We sit down today with Waste Management and K-Stack to learn more about a corporate sustainability program and how it can improve your future. I'm Neely Jones. Focus on Suppliers starts now. Focus on Suppliers is presented by 8th and Walton, the premier destination for supplier development, and sponsored in part by Dunn and Bradstreet, Saatchi and Saatchi X, and other outstanding companies. Your millennial fun fact is that millennials are spending more on jewelry than any other age group in history. In fact, Millennials account for a 1.5% increase in 2015 in jewelry purchases alone. Millennials really see jewelry as a splurge category versus a save category. While they might save on other types of accessories and smaller types of accessories, they really see jewelry as an investment, something that they can use to really express themselves while also creating a heirloom within their family. So as we think about how we might want to engage with millennials in store, a great way to do that is to really leverage those emotional triggers and talk to them about why they would invest and why they would put the types of dollars and investment behind their jewelry purchase. Make sure we're driving those points of purchase, giving them reasons to buy, and ultimately leading them to pick up that product. We'll see you next week for your next Millennial Minute. Joining us now is Brent Redmond from Sales One International. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for inviting me. First of all, I want to tell people a little bit about your background because you have an interesting one. You've worked on the Walmart side and now on the supplier side. And talk to me about that. That's right. I've uh, had nine years of experience with Walmart. Uh, three years was with Sam's Club in, in that time frame. Uh, the last position I had was in product development uh, with watches. And uh, that was the best position. It was really fun. Uh, I um, got to do a lot of different things um, and create kind of my own programs at the time. But then I had the opportunity to come on the supplier side, um, so and which is very different from the Walmart side. And I don't think uh, a lot of people realize that because a lot of suppliers they uh, have been on the supplier side. They've never really been, they've never been on the Walmart side. Um, so when you leave Walmart, the big huge community, um, uh, friends and family and, mm -hmm. and coworkers. You you come on the supply side in this, it's quite a bit different. A little bit of a challenge. You were saying sometimes you're in an office by yourself. Which right. A lot of suppliers here are in an office by themselves. Now they do have uh, usually maybe one analyst, but there is some that's just them. And that was uh, me for about a year. I was in an office by myself for a year. Um, you know, just And then I finally got to hire an analyst. Well, and that brings you to my next point. One of the things we talked about is the importance, and I really want you to elaborate on this, of having someone in this area, because it's sometimes hard to explain until you've been here. Right, especially for new suppliers. Uh, a lot of the current suppliers do have somebody here, but new suppliers, you got to have somebody here locally, um, somebody with the knowledge, with the Walmart knowledge. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of good people out there that have worked for Walmart um, that are still around. And if you have feet on the ground here, you get face-to-face -face time with your buyer um, or uh, your replenishment manager. You know, you're here, if you're dropping off product, you get to drop off product, meet with them, chat with them for a little bit. Other suppliers, if they don't have somebody here, they're just actually sending by mail their product in. And it's really important to develop those relationships and having someone here from what you're saying helps to do that. It is, definitely. And then also on the supplier side, you develop relationships with other suppliers. And then you, know, you talk about your business, how was Q4. Um, One of the things I wanted to be sure and talk to you about is some of the products that you guys carry. Yeah, some of the products we carry. We are a jewelry company. Uh, we've been in business since 2000. Uh, Sells One is the name of the jewelry company. Uh, we do body jewelry. We do men's and hers alternative metals. We do uh, silver. Um, and rings, pendants, uh, nose rings, 
earrings, you know, all the all the different kinds of jewelry. Even special licensing products. Yeah, we have licenses. We have Marvel. We have uh, Star Wars. We have Pokemon. Um, we did a, a great Q4 program for Walmart for kids and uh, for adults. Um, and we have Transformers, My Little Pony. Oh, now talk to me about the difference because you deal with both Sam's Club and Walmart, and there's a difference in working with those two within the same category. Right, yeah. Sam's Club uh, is uh, more of a uh, jewelry store, um, where Walmart is uh, more of a kind of giftable, um, ready-to-go product. Uh, you, want, you want it to make it as simple as possible for the Walmart customer. Sam's Club, a little bit different. High-end shopper. Uh, they're looking at more high-end brands um, and better quality jewelry. And these are things that suppliers need to know when they're dealing with Sam's or Walmart in any category. Correct, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Brent, so much for your time for stopping by. Thank you. I appreciate it. It was nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you. We'll be right back. Visit walmartnewsnow.com for the most current retail news. K-Stack, the leader in collaborative retail consolidation programs. We offer the supply chain expertise needed to navigate the challenges of selling products with the world's largest retailers. And we provide customers with a customizable, scalable, environmentally sustainable supply chain with the same advanced technology typically used by larger rivals. By leveling the playing field, K-Stack lowers distribution costs and increases overall margins. K-Stack, retail logistics is what we do. Bentonville Plaza, across the street from the Walmart home office. The best office location offers proximity and services like no other business complex in the area. Call 479-200-1112 today. Armatron impressed me when I bought a watch in 2005 before my second appointment to Iraq. And on that deployment, I was hit by a roadside bomb and I was wearing that Armatron watch. Uh, it's almost as if that watch was a part of me. It went through the explosion. It sat in a drawer, lonely. And it was like my depression. And to pull it out, clean it off, put it on, and it still worked, this is my story. You just had your buyer meeting. Now there's follow-up to do. Maybe your buyer wants more on seasonal sales or invited you to prepare a joint business plan or set up a date for your line review. Ethan Walton can help. Our experts work with you one-on-one -on -one in a confidential setting to prepare for your next buyer meeting. The classes we offer help you too. Retail link, supply chain management, inventory management, taught in cities across the country, in Canada, and in Latin America. So before your next buyer meeting, contact Ethan Walton. Then relax, knowing that you will be ready. With us now is Ben Lacey from Arbitron. First of all, let me say thank you so much for being here with us today. Oh, thanks for having me. We, of course, are touching on the jewelry, watches category, and you guys have a long history with Walmart. Yes, we do. Arbitron's been in business in partnership with Walmart for over 35 years, quite some time. But it's been real exciting the last few months as we've just had a large rollout in the watch and jewelry area. Well, speaking of, because there was so much growth, I think you said the largest in 15 years? Yeah, in, largest in change over in 15 years. Yes. Crazy. And it, yeah. it affected everything right down to packaging. I mean, you were telling me you had to package things differently. Yes, the emphasis was on packaging and also in fixturing. So you have all new, modern, generic, but not generic looking fixturing in the watch department and in the fine jewelry department that really adds to the product, really adds to the aesthetics. It's a nice, black, clean look. And also, every product now has uh, gift boxing instead of uh, plastic packaging. So whereas before, you know, maybe things were a little more bland, now things are definitely it's rised up a notch. Is that a good, they've been For brought sure. up a notch? For sure. There's a cohesiveness across the category, and everyone's benefited from the sales. Okay, now you say cohesiveness, and I think this is important for our suppliers to hear. You were mentioning to us the importance of partnership between everyone. Yes, yes. We all have to uh, work and play well together. And it's not just an Armatron and Walmart thing. Obviously, that's very important because independent success is not achievable. It's an Armatron, a Walmart. It's an every watch branded mm -hmm. supplier. It's every fine jewelry supplier. We have to work together, okay? Armatron will not s succeed at Walmart on its own. It's about the entire watch and jewelry department working together for the greater good, for lack of a better term. So you're saying if you see someone else do well, then that will benefit you in the long run and vice versa, so let's root for each other type yeah, thing. Yeah, very rare that one brand or one category is up while the others are down. We kind of ebb and flow together. 
Okay, and trends. What have you seen in trends? Uh, trends for men's. Uh, everything's big and bold. Mm -hmm. Guys want to be big, bold, flashy, you know, lots of bells and whistles. On the other end, ladies are actually getting smaller. The past mm. few years, the boyfriend watch has been such a huge trend, but everyone now is getting a little smaller, a little daintier, very fine jewelry, elegant inspired. A lot of sets, sets meaning a, a watch and a bracelet have been very popular, high value items for Walmart. Okay, and these are some of your most popular items that you have sitting next to you. So you have a wide range. Yes, a wide range. We have a, an automatic watch, which is kinetic. That means you wind it, set the time, and as long as you keep moving, it keeps moving. Mm -hmm. It also has a 24-hour power reserve. Um, also in men's, again, big, bold, lots of functions, lots of you know, different metallic touches here. And in ladies, um, not so much while this is very, you know, pardon the term, blingy, but it's also very fine jewelry inspired and a lot of value. Thank you so much for your time. I think good advice for our suppliers to remember that working in tandem, the in partnership and helping each other. Absolutely. A must. All right. Thank you so much, Ben Lacey, for joining us. Thank you. We'll see you in a minute. We're moving now into the sustainability portion of our show. We're going to have a much larger show for you down the road, but for today, we want to introduce you to some key things you may want to be thinking about. And that brings me to Shane Redd, who joins us from Waste Management. Thank you for being here today. Thanks for having me. Now, for folks who don't know, tell them about your company and what you do. Certainly. Waste Management. When you hear the word waste management, people think of trash company. And we are a trash company. But I think what a lot of folks don't realize is that waste management is also North America's largest recycler. And we're pretty proud of that. As you should be. You are actually LEED certified. Right, gold? At a, yes, we have our corporate sustainability center right here in northwest Arkansas. It's in Rogers, right in the heart of the supplier community. It's a LEED gold certified facility. So that really means during the construction of the facility, we recycled over 98% of the content. So we've got recycling material, recycled materials in the carpet, uh, no VOCs, paint. Jeans? Uh, Yes, some recycled denim in the ceiling tile for insulation. Really neat facility. And, uh, you know, if people haven't seen it, it's worth stopping by just to check out. Well, and I like to mention that because you're not just talking the talk. You are walking the talk. So when you help people, you can tell them by experience. You work with Walmart. What are some of the things you've been able to help the world's largest retailer with? We work with Walmart every day. Uh, we help from packaging efforts. We help from end-of-life disposition, compliance measures, making sure that we're properly disposing of materials. We have a dedicated team of about 50 full-time personnel dedicated to Walmart. So we have boots on the ground in Walmart facilities really all across the country. And, uh, you know, proud that we're a partner of theirs and proud that we're a partner of suppliers. Hopefully we can take suppliers on that sustainability journey with us. Well, and you were saying it all starts with a conversation. You want to hear from them. Absolutely. I, I think my message today is we're here to help. Uh, whether it's a supplier that's well on their journey or a supplier that just wants to start the conversation. Our sustainability center, it's a great place to collaborate. It's a think tank to come in, sit down, identify what problems do we have. Are they supply, supply chain solutions? Are they packaging efforts? Uh, when we look at uh, over the last year, Walmart's made some changes to their online supplier agreement. The options are, are a little bit more limited now for end of life. We believe we can step in and help suppliers specif specifically return to vendor items. Is there a way that we can manage materials and help take cost out of the supply chain to make suppliers a better partner to Walmart? That's what it's all about for you. Now, I also want to say it's about taking care of Mother Earth. You get two benefits from this. It can help your bottom line, correct? But it also, you're giving back by taking care of the environment. Absolutely. We found as a company that there's more value in materials when we can keep them out of the landfill and when we can help suppliers to, to be able to find a better end of life and it gives us more resources to work with. You were saying, too, at year, begin, year beginning meeting that this was something that was talked about. So it's time if a supplier is not paying attention. Absolutely. The sustainability index was emphasized. I think it's going to become increasingly important for suppliers to be evaluated on. Again, it's time. It, we just, again, we want to have a conversation. We want to start where we're at and identify how can we go along the journey. You always say, think about the future. 
Absolutely. Not just about where you are today. And one thing I think it's important to note, you mentioned that you're talking about a conversation, but you're also talking about a conversation with supplier and with someone, maybe like a buyer in the room. Correct. Correct. Our center is designed in such a way it's focused on, we have different rooms uh, focused on the triple bottom line of people, planet, and profit. And we can move from room to room so we can sit down with the buyer, with the supplier, and go along that process together and just talk about what are challenges and how can we maybe fix some of the challenges. I'm not saying we have all the answers, but unless we have the conversation, we won't know what to ask. And you can definitely help with the pain points if you can at least sit down. Absolutely. We only have about 30 seconds left, so quickly, what is one of the things you're most proud of that you've been able to do with the world's largest retailer? Absolutely. I'm proud of the fact that you know Walmart announced this zero waste journey and a journey to help to make products more sustainable and we have a method in which we're already helping them, but we can help suppliers. I like to tell people, let's begin with the end in mind. And if we know that a product can be recycled, then let's go back and design it in such a way to where we have that solution. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. We'll be right back. Be sure to like 8th and Walton on Facebook. Bentonville Commerce. Less than one mile from the Walmart home office. You'll love the convenience, amenities, and customized options Bentonville Commerce offers. For more information or a tour, call 479-200-1112 today. Armatron impressed me when I bought a watch in 2005 before my second appointment to Iraq. And on that appointment, I was hit by a roadside bomb. And I was wearing that Armatron watch. Uh, it's almost as if that watch was a part of me. It went through the explosion. It sat in a drawer, lonely, and it was like my depression. And to pull it out, clean it off, put it on, and it still worked, it's my story. GigWalk is transforming how work gets done. As the leading mobile workforce management platform, GigWalk provides companies with mobile tools and a data-driven approach to improving business efficiency. Leading brands and retailers use GigWalk to manage their field teams and to mobilize 750,000 GigWalkers to collect data intelligence about their business and brands. Are the shelves stocked? Are my products priced competitively? Are the correct promotions in place? Visit us at GigWalk.com to learn more. GigWalk. Make work better. Doug McMillan will be speaking at the Corporate Luncheon on March 30th, presented by Single Parent Scholarship Fund of Benton County. Our own Neely Jones is serving as MC. Register online at spsfbc.org forward slash about forward slash events. Are chargebacks busting your chops? Take two aspirin and call us in the morning. Ethan Walton for a needs assessment, custom training in a confidential setting, and classes online and in person. Call Ethan Walton, 479-715-6700, and feel better fast. Joining us now, Colby Bielan from K-Stack. Thank you for being with us today. Great to be here. Okay, we want to talk about sustainability. First sure. of all, let's just do a big picture and some of the things that you've seen and the difference it can make. Well, the biggest impact is there's so many aspects of sustainability, you know, um, from an energy perspective, from a carbon emissions perspective, from a waste perspective. At the end of the day, it comes down to we as humans have to make a decision. Uh, do we want to participate? Do we believe in it? And uh, putting forth the effort. Um, I can remember 10 years ago having to start a recycle program and the amount of trash that came out of the trash can and went in the recycle bin was mind-boggling to me. And that's when I started changing my perspective on life and realizing that there may be something to this sustainability initiative. The amount of product that can be recycled, whether it be paper or plastic or glass or whatever it is, the amount of post-consumer waste that goes into our landfills, it's, it's substantial. It's mind-boggling. Elaborate for me, if you will, for our viewers on some of the ways you've been to collaborate with Walmart when it comes to sustainability and sustainability issues. Sure. Um, K-Stack, the, the company that I work for, we actually have a consolidation program with Walmart which is designed to take trucks off the road. And it, you know, by doing so, you reduce carbon emissions, you make the highway safer because there's less trucks on the road, there's less pollution in the air and noise pollution from the trucks. So it's a great uh, program that not only drives um, sus sustainable efforts, but it also drives costs out of the supply chain. So it's a win-win. I mean, suppliers in Walmart are able to get the, you know, the lower 
everyday low price, everyday low cost that, that Walmart's looking for. And uh, the environment wins because we're taking carbon emissions and making our highways safer on a daily basis. That brings you to my next question. If you're working with a supplier or a large company, how do you work on reducing external costs for them? You know, the, the program that we actually operate with Walmart is sustainable. I mean, it, it, it does it itself. So what we try to do is educate the supplier on their, their current supply chain and how they're moving product and then what we can do from a carbon emission standpoint to eliminate and, and be able to calculate the carbon emissions reduction that they, by utilizing consolidation, will have Im impact on the environment. And then they, then they therefore, can turn around and have that conversation with Walmart uh, about you know, their sustainable practices and what they're doing to help the environment. What kind of KPIs are you seeing when it comes to success and trending with the sustainability issue? Sure. Um, we're a member of Smartway. It's an EPA organization. It's a certification that requires us to track and monitor our carrier base. So we are measuring uh, idle time, reduced idle time. Uh, we are measuring the amount of carbon emissions that you know are being generated. So I mean, there's lots of terminology that could be, be used here, but they've changed diesel fuel requirements. They've changed emission requirements. All these things are initiatives that are part of the DOT and transportation in general, but by measuring those over the years and seeing the impact that, you know, uh, low sulfur and the emission requirements that the uh, EPA and DOT have placed on tractors and the idle time requirements, we as an industry are reducing carbon emissions daily, uh, and the impact is significant. The, the problem is what we do in the United States doesn't pale in comparison to what is happening on a global scale, and it's the third world countries and less civilized countries that don't adopt these practices that create the majority of pollution. But what goes into a diesel tractor today and comes out, it, we're actually cleaning the environment. It's a lot different than it used to be. Absolutely. Okay, so talk to me about if someone, if a supplier is watching this and they're like, sustainability, I don't know, how do we get started? What can we do next? What's different? What's a good focal point? Well, I mean, there's lots of ways to go about it, uh, like k -Stack in general at, at our company. Uh, in the office, all of our uh, appliances are energy smart, uh, energy smart energy. Um, we use post-consumer recycled product in every form: paper towels, paper plates, you know, what, whatever it is that we use. No employee uses, you know, disposable styrofoam cups or anything like that. So you can start with something small and then build up to making changes, even as far as packaging and logistics. It can all make a difference. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Colby. You bet. We'll be right back. We have two special guests joining us today. I'm going to start out with Jason Barta from the Benton County Boys and Girls Club. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. We, of Appreciate course, have it. Jim Breach from Unilever here, and I'm going to get to you in a moment. You're Thank not you. off the hook. But I want to talk to you about your organization, what you do, mm -hmm. so for folks at home who don't know. Right. Well, we, uh, we're an after-school summer program. Um, for school-aged kids, um, our programs center around um, academic success, uh, good character and leadership, and healthy lifestyles. We have athletics programs as well to make sure kids um, lead a healthy lifestyle. Um, we feel our greatest um, area of um, that we can have success in, in a kid's life is, is character and leadership, and everything we do in the clubs is centered around um, uh, making sure kids are leading a healthy lifestyle as well as um, having good character and leadership skills. You have all different kinds of programs. I've participated with Girls on the Run, and I love mm -hmm. to watch you change lives. You have a very special event coming up, the Youth of the mm -hmm. Year. Talk to me about that. We do. This is a celebration of uh, celebration of the kids in our clubs. Um, it's something we look forward to every year. Um, clubs throughout the country do it, and I think this club does a really good job, um, does it right. We want to celebrate, take a night, celebrate the kids in our clubs um, and all their achievements throughout the year and really put them up on a pedestal and make them feel good about themselves. That's so fantastic. And Jim, obviously you, you, you and Unilever, you know this. Talk to me about the importance of being involved and why you have been involved. Yeah, I mean, the Boys and Girls Club do such a, a wonderful job here in Northwest Arkansas. Jason and his staff, and the the, uh, the gift that they are to Northwest Arkansas and what they do for uh, for children in the area is absolutely amazing. Unilever's had a relationship with Boys and Girls Club nationally for several years, and locally we've had a relationship since about 2006. 
Um, we volunteer our time, so we've got a lot of folks that volunteer time down there as well. We obviously give some resources uh, uh, to the organization as well. Um, a lot of the work that we do is through Dove and through our Dove brand and self-esteem and, and uh, you know, the work that the Dove brand does, talking about giving um, young ladies a message about positive self-esteem, fits so well into what the Boys and Girls Club mission really is locally. So we're, you know, we're happy to be a supporter of, uh, of the Boys and Girls Club. We're happy to be a supporter of the Youth of the Year. It's an absolutely fantastic night. Okay, what would you say to people about getting involved, getting their tickets, making sure they come? Yes, uh, www.bgcbentoncounty.org has the details for the event. You can register online there, um, or you can register as well by calling the Boys and Girls Club. Um, and a thank you to Unilever. We can't do what we can and have the impact on the kids without the community buying into what we're doing, and, and Unilever is a champion for us. We, we appreciate that. Thank you. It's a true testament to the supplier and the community. We always try to talk to you about Northwest Arkansas. It's this special place, yeah. and you guys truly are on the ground participating, giving volunteers. Is there anything else you would want to say about the importance of supporting the Benton County Boys and Girls Club? Yeah, I think, you know, there's, there's a lot of suppliers in town, and, and one of the great gifts about living in Northwest Arkansas is the fact that the supplier community and Walmart um, really look to give back to the local community, and the Boys and Girls Club are just one of the key jewels for us in the uh, in the area and so uh, you know a lot of folks already support um, you know you can give three ways I think you can always give uh, you can always give your time um, and I know that time and talent are important to the Boys and Girls Club um, you can certainly come out to the dinner the youth of the year dinner because it's an amazing time to listen to a lot of really cool stories and then of course you can always um, um, provide some resources and uh, and give if uh, you know from a charitable perspective as well and, and the Boys and Girls Club are always willing to accept that as well we're happy to be a supporter we're so happy to have you both here with us today. And I think this event is so important because it's also a good way to see firsthand the good that you are contributing to our community. It is. It's a good... Um it's a good way to get introduced to the mission and really the impact. You know, we talk about the great futures start here at a Boys and Girls Club, but to see that, you know, know the slogan and to see it um, firsthand through the kids that come through our doors every day, it's, it's a different experience and one that's it's a cool thing. So. Well, we appreciate you both. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Neely. We'll be right back. Visit us at 8thandwalton.com to learn how you can become a better partner with Walmart. K-Stack, the leader in collaborative retail consolidation programs. We offer the supply chain expertise needed to navigate the challenges of selling products with the world's largest retailers. And we provide customers with a customizable, scalable, environmentally sustainable supply chain with the same advanced technology typically used by larger rivals. By leveling the playing field, K-Stack lowers distribution costs and increases overall margins. K-Stack, retail logistics is what we do. Doug McMillan will be speaking at the Corporate Luncheon on March 30th, presented by Single Parent Scholarship Fund of Benton County. Our own Neely Jones is serving as MC. Register online at spsfbc.org forward slash about forward slash events. Bentonville Plaza, across the street from the Walmart home office. The best office location offers proximity and services like no other business complex in the area. Call 479-200-1112 today. GigWalk is transforming how work gets done. As the leading mobile workforce management platform, GigWalk provides companies with mobile tools and a data-driven approach to improving business efficiency. Leading brands and retailers use GigWalk to manage their field teams and to mobilize 750,000 GigWalkers to collect data intelligence about their business and brands. Are the shelves stocked? Are my products priced competitively? Are the correct promotions in place? Visit us at GigWalk.com to learn more. GigWalk. Make work better. You just had your buyer meeting. Now there's follow-up to do. Maybe your buyer wants more on seasonal sales or invited you to prepare a joint business plan or set up a date for your line review. Ethan Walton can help. Our experts work with you one-on-one -on -one in a confidential setting to prepare for your next buyer meeting. The classes we offer help you too. Retail link, supply chain management, inventory management, taught in cities across the country, in Canada, and in Latin America. So before your next buyer meeting, contact Ethan Walton. Then relax, knowing that you will be ready. That does it for this week's show. Here are three key takeaways you might want to jot down. Number one, there's no substitute for feet on the ground, especially when it comes to working with Walmart. You want people in Bentonville. That face-to-face -face time, 
people like your buyers, it can really make a difference. Also, with sustainability, find a balance between people, planet, and profit. It's important. And when you think about packaging and product design, keep the end result in mind. In other words, how will it be recycled and how will the consumer dispose of it? We'll see you next week. To record this show, set your DVR to focus on suppliers, Sundays at 5 a.m. on KNWA.